we're creating a tracking form on a website that allows you to have a sheet like this with tracking numbers and statuses and someone is going to search for a tracking number you give them and they're going to get the status. You can update this Google Sheet in real time and they can go and check the form on a website and find the status at any time they want. So you don't have to keep people up to date on the statuses every time they ask, they can just check it. So we'll see 987654321. We'll go to our sheet. They'll be able to enter a tracking number on this Google site. That's actually free. Sites.google.com allows you to create free websites. We can track it, see status delivered, and that status is here. So if we check 456, blah, blah, for pending, is it pending? Let's go check that tracking number track, and there, it says pending. So anytime someone wants to find out where their item is, they can come here and try it out. So I'm gonna show you how to create this step by step. The steps we're gonna do is we're gonna create this sheet. So we have a sheet with our numbers in it. We're gonna create a little bit of an API. That is over here. All of this we're going to do in this video. That's the main part of this video. And we're also gonna create a Google site where if you're watching this on bettersheets.co, you can get this exact HTML, and this is the embed for it. If not, go become a member of bettersheets.co right now. So that's the three steps we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna create the sheet here. We have a items, tracking number, and statuses. The big issue here is to make sure your tracking number and your statuses are aligned, right? That their tracking number is aligned with the status. That's all we need for the sheet. And now let's go create the API. So that's up in extensions app script. We're gonna get through all of this, but for right now, when you cr open your app script, it's going to look like this, function my function. We're going to change this my function to do get. This is a built-in function with a capital G, make sure. And we're going to get a URL. Essentially, what we're doing is creating our own API for this specific sheet that anyone can access anywhere. And I'm gonna show you all the steps in this video. So what we're gonna end up returning is return content service, create text output status. Now, we want a status that is defaulting, meaning if nothing is found, we want variable status equals tracking number not found. Now this allows us to say, you're gonna get something out of this anytime we access this. We will need to eventually in this video, I'll show you the steps, deploy this, this is the big button here, deploy this as a URL and a web app and get a URL, but for right now, let's do all of the coding we need. So we need a tracking number because this URL is going to be when you submit the form, the form itself over here is going to have this tracking number and is gonna send it to the API and say, hey, what's the status of this number? So we are gonna get the tracking number from that URL by url.parameter.tracking number. Now we need to get the actual tracking number. So we're gonna say spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet, get sheet by name, and this is just tracking. This is just the tracking sheet itself. We want the statuses, statuses equals tracking dot get range. This is C colon C and this needs get values. What's gonna happen here is we're going to get an array of the C column. All of the things in the C column is gonna be in a single array. We also want the numbers, variable numbers equals the same thing, tracking dot get range, but B column get values. You change these two here, the B and C column, if you have different location of your values. Basically, we're just going to look through the numbers column, find a match, and then give the statuses back. So we have our tracking number not found, and now we create a for loop. For i equals zero, i is less than numbers, dot length, and i plus plus. Now this for loop is going to go through every single number here, these values, this array, and if tracking number, this number we get from the URL, is equal to numbers i, and we're gonna get just the item in that array, then we're gonna do something. We're gonna say variable status equals statuses, same spot in the array, so this i. There you go. So this is all we need, this is all of the code we need 
before we deploy. Deploy, new deployment. We're going to deploy as me, but anyone has access. We'll hit deploy, and we're going to get a URL from this. This is going to be a very important URL where we can copy this. Now, what's going to happen is if we open an incognito window and we paste this URL, and at the end we do question mark tracking number with capital N equals, let's go grab one of the tracking numbers, let's do 147. So see, this URL is just saying, hey, go to this URL, add the parameter tracking number equals this number. We're going to hit enter, and it says in transit. So this is our API now that anyone can access with any tracking number, but we're going to clean it up. We're going to create it at the back of a form. So we're going to create a form that someone can enter their number in and get this response from. We're going to show it nicely. But that's the general idea of this URL and this web app. Make sure we have this URL. We're going to grab actually just all of this URL up to exec. We can always get it from deploy, manage deployments here, this web app URL, copy that. That's the URL for this, and we this do get is really awesome because now we have an embed. Now this embed code, I've created it essentially as a form up here, just tracking called tracking form. On submit, it's saying fetch the tracking status, and then here's this script that's written in JavaScript that essentially says go to this, uh, go to this URL add this tracking number here, and then get the response and add it to a little text here that says status. That's it. So the only thing you need to change if you have this code is right here, this URL, paste our new web app URL right here on line 13. Again, if you want this code, go over to bettersheets.co and get it. Everyone watching this on bettersheets.co can get this code. I'm going to copy this because we're going to go create a, let's delete that, this is a Google site. We can get to it by site.new.2 slash 2. Just create a brand new Google site. That's all we did. We didn't do anything else to this. And all we're going to do is on the far right, click embed, change it to embed code, and paste our embed code. So all of this has been written. Again, this is just a form with a status that literally text that says status and a script that says go to this JavaScript, go to this URL, and get the response. Pretty cool. Hit next. It's going to look like this. Hit insert. We can extend this all the way out. Hit publish. Click publish. You're going to have to publish this publicly. And then we're going to get a link. Publish site link. Copy link. I'm going to open. I already have an incognito open. Incognito is going to be easier to do. Paste this. So this is just at bettersheets.google.com slash bettersheets.co slash delivering happiness. Enter a tracking number, and if we enter a tracking number that is like doesn't exist, let's see what happens. Not found. So let's move this out of the way a little bit. Go find a number that actually exists in our sheet. 7543. Enter that. Out for delivery. So now that is done. We have our Google site. We have our API created and our sheet. Everything is happy. If you are trying to do this somewhere else other than bettersheets.co, we just need a form and a script that goes to this URL. That's it. That's how to create a tracking number getter in Google Sheets with a front end on a website that anyone can access anywhere. We just did that in about 10 minutes. Hopefully you can do that too. Enjoy.